Hi guys, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Melian GPS Core Bike Computer M2 with Bluetooth and ANT. So uh, I bought this one on Amazon for under 60 bucks. I'm really excited because I never had this type of device attached to my bike. I'm riding a road bike and I just got a, a you know, wire a speed sensor that's it so the GPS it looks pretty simple nothing extra of course you have a the three button on the front and one in the side and that's it the power button is on your on your left left top corner so yeah look look kind of pretty simple nothing fancy so far so I like it, it looks like the same type of uh, clip style uh, like the uh, Garmin GPS. So uh, we get the instruction menu, uh, look like a really short menu, so I don't know a whole lot. Uh, bracket, I like the extended bracket uh, as a pro, I like it. I mean, I seen uh, online that the Garmin doesn't come with this, and then you have to buy what pay thirty five bucks extra just for that piece of plastic. But this one, I could see that you could connect your flashlight or GoPro underneath. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like it. So I'm gonna be doing a review, you know, how it looks in, on my bike, and also I'm gonna be doing some uh, speed tests uh, while I'm driving or say the place I'm gonna be riding my bike. So we'll see. I know that you could connect a the heart rate monitor, the candy monitor and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. That's a light. Okay this is my current uh, setup. Okay as you can see okay. a speed sensor. Now to install this you just need to install the bracket pretty straightforward. Oh, also, let me show you this is my current uh, Focus Colebro with mountain bike uh, pedals. I prefer that. Easy to clip in, easy to clip out. No troubles. Okay. And the how, how big it is and how it looks compared with the a current speed sensor. So now I'm gonna be doing a, a speed test and see how quickly this is GPS catches the signal and keep up with the speed of the car. Let's see how that works. I uh, have a high expectation. So this is a real world test. Uh, as you can see, I got the speed sensor, satellite speed sensor on, comparing with the current speed on my vehicle. Um, I would say this is kind of accurate right now. Uh, I will be testing this on the trail in a minute. Uh, attach of course to my road bike. <coughs> but as you can see, I'm driving basically at 43 miles an hour based on the speed of my vehicle. And the GPS is kind of getting there, so let me slow down, see if the GPS starts to kind of decrease in speed, 40 miles an hour, I'm going to try to keep that speed.
I just finished a 10 miles ride riding on my bike. Uh, this is my Focus Cooler Bro. I like it. Uh, as you can see, I got a, rip, a blinking lights uh, all over. These are Cat Eye uh, brand, and I like them. Uh, they better keep yourself, you know, protected in that way. If somebody's driving by, definitely they will see you. I like it and it's a good setup. It's working so far for me. I don't know if that will work out for you guys. I just want to be safe. After I ride for a, a, a little bit, I just noticed a couple of things. First, I don't know if you guys could notice the distance. Okay. That one is less than this one, which is my, my wire a speed sensor. Because this GPS uh, speed sensor doesn't work if you have trees and structures all the way around. So I don't like that at all. People keep losing the GPS signal all the time, all the time, all the time. Good thing is out of pause, so that's I guess a good thing. I would say that the only good thing, and I give you the time. And temperature, of course. But besides that, uh, it doesn't work for me. I don't think it's a good idea or a good investment. Unless that you start to buy an old sensor, the wireless sensor that you need to connect it to it. And take advantage of all that technology. But if you like me, you're in the mountains. And you're riding between, I mean, open fields and wood area. Nah, it's not a good idea to buy this type of speed sensors. Um, one thing uh, I do gonna tell you guys that I'm gonna be comparing this with the Garmin Edge. It's coming next week, so I ordered that one also to test it to see which technology works best for me. But so far, this one, eh, I don't know, it's a thumbs down, I don't like it. Alright guys, so this is my review about the M2 Median GPS speed uh, system, or speed reader, whatever you want to call it. And honestly, I do not like it at all. It doesn't work for me. Probably going to work for you if you're riding on an open road where there's no structures all oh, in the city I guess when the GPS signal is way better all right well have a good one guys and thank you for watching if you got any question or any doubts or any suggestion or anything that you want me to try please let me know in the comment section and subscribe thank you bye so now you have it guys uh, I tried this sensor uh, GPS, uh, I keep losing the GPS signal uh, every time I pass on a pretty shady area covered by trees, uh, it doesn't work for me. So remember, cycling could save the world. So enjoy, subscribe, and let me know if you want me to try something else. Thank you. Bye.